Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today I'm actually back in Utah. Here's a face you probably haven't seen for a while. Hi everybody! Welcome back, Tim. <laughs> so, yeah, I managed to get back out to Utah. I didn't think I was gonna get back out here for a while, but just circumstances came up. I had a couple of days I could just come in Utah. My wife wanted to go to uh, visit a really good friend of hers who is getting married, so she wanted to get back to be able to visit her. So um, I was like, well, opportunity for me to go rock hounding. <laughs> so for here us. we are, rock hounding again. And I'm back out at the Agates south of Eureka. So some of you may remember this from last year. I came out here several times with family. Tim and I were some of the first ones out here when I found that place further south, getting closer to Jericho. But this is a well-known area up here. This was the last place I've come to since I've been out here, and I never managed to go further up. I've been really wanting to go up, and I wanted to go south over the hill, because I've never been up over there. So today, we're gonna see what kind of agates we can find now. I keep thinking that there's probably some agates out here that are just waiting to be found that might blow our minds, because we've been finding some good quality stuff here. Oh yeah. Pretty much every time we've come out. And of course, look, you can already see stuff. There's an agate, it's glowing in the sun right there. There's one right there, it's glowing in the sun. And, and for everyone that doesn't know, this is a bullet shell. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. Oh, and of course, in case you need them, here's the GPS coordinates. I've shared them in my other videos. There we are, that's where we parked. So let's head on up there, see what we can find today. Here we are down in the wash now. It's early in the morning, that makes it hard to see stuff. Oh, there's a tiny one right there. <laughs> but that's not what we're going for. We want the nice big ones that either are banded or have really good color to them. Just found this one on the side. It's got a tiny bit of banding in it. So it's our first one that has a little bit of banding in it. Okay, Tim just found this. It's kind of a jasper, kind of a tan brown jasper and then you can see little bits of the agate going through it so that looks like something we should uh, cut open just found one down here pretty good size let's pull it out take a closer look at it yeah, I'm gonna guess it's white yeah pretty much yeah, all right. there it is spread off a bit too bad. There's a little bit of banding you can see in there. Well, looky there. I was just going to put the one away and I see a broken one here that has some banding in it. Oh, did Tim find something over there? And just on this side of my bag, I found these two pieces just sitting there. Any good? Okay, looks like mostly just clear ones. Doesn't seem to really be anything special with them, but it is that clear agate. Well, chalcedony, I guess you could call in this case. All right, guys. So this is my point of view of this uh, journey. There's that guy right there. I think I found something. Oh, did Tim find something over there? Tim seems to have found something. Let's take a look. Ah, uh, nice piece right here. Good size. Any good banding going through it? Let's see. A little bit on the top. Don't know how well you can see that, but there, there's a little bit of banding on the top. That is kind of nice. Hi, everybody. It's me again. There she be. Little one, but hey. Yep, another just little one, huh? Uh. Gee, Williker, guys, I got another one. Might as well hit him pick it up for you. That's the biggest one I've seen so far today. Looks like Tim has found the biggest one we've seen so far today. Nice. Uh, I can't tell if there's any banding in there. I'll clean it more when I actually get home. But it is the biggest one so far. Just found this nice clear one that has a really cool botryoidal surface to the top of it. it feels really smooth. It's cool. There's something going on in this one. What's this? Oh yeah. 
It's the agate. It's just it had this surface here making it kind of hard to see. But that's it. Ah, uh, I think I found another one. Oh, nice. Oh, this one's probably better. This one will probably be, be nice when I cut it. Here's this one cut open. This side broke. So I'll just kind of take a look at that side. Nice. At first I thought this was just calcite, but then there we go. A little bit of agate going through it. Looks like we might have some banding. Ooh, I see something glowing under this rock. Yeah, it's a little piece. See some light coming through a little bit. It's fairly clear. Ooh, I think I see something right here. Oh yeah, it's got a crystal pocket in the middle. There you go, some quartz. Oh, Tim's finding a few all close to each other over there. Nice. All right, let's kind of see what Tim's been finding. Apparently he's got a few all really close to each other. You got this one. Don't be judging, oh, guys. That's a little ones. Yes, I said don't there be judging. Go. Hey, Tim, what do you think of that one? What do I think of that Crystal one? Crystal right I there in the middle. I think you can walk away. Uh, walk okay. away. Right. Walk away. <laughs> and this little one has a little bit of banding in it. It's pretty small, though. And what's this here? Looks like another one. It's really white. Not very clear. Some fractures in it. Found something hiding under the rock here. What we got here? Looks like we got a bunch of calcite, but I think there's some agate in, inside there. Yeah, I think there's some agate in the middle. All right, that's worth cutting into at least and seeing what's in it. Hopefully there's a bunch more agate inside. Here's this one cut open. It's a mystery from the outside, except a teeny bit you can see there. And, oh yeah, look at that thing. Oh, that is nice. Now that is a good looking agate. Hi again. So I found something cool. So I'm going to show you. It's right there. Doesn't look like anything right now. But once Trent gets over here with his water gun, well, I can spray it for you guys. Is that a hint, hint from Tim? Yeah, that's a big... That that's your big hint hint of bringing your water spraying device over here. Tim thinks he's got something. He's spraying it off. Oh, that's definitely an agate. Oh, so a crystal for crystals formed into this or rock layers. Yeah. No, it's probably crystals. Probably calcite crystals. So you're seeing the the edge of them as they went into the agate there. So here's this big chunker. I walked past it because I let him find it, so then he felt <laughs> Tim, let me find it, huh? To let me feel special. Oh, that's a big chunk, yeah. Can't Had tell very well if there's... <laughs> Can't tell if there's very good banding inside of it. Here's this big one washed off and cut open. Oh, there's a few interesting things going on in there. Cool. Just found this one up here on the hillside. Once again, it's got those cool little indents in it from the calcite blades that used to be there. It's a fun little calcite. I mean, a uh, agate. Yep. Look what the cat decided to drop in. Oh yeah, cat. Now let me move that real quick. Oh, I can see it from here. <laughs> and that's got a really nice banding on it. Oh, that's some beautiful. Oh, oh Tim found I a need, good piece. Oh, I need to get yes. it. I need to get it wet. Yes. Before I show you the best part, I need to get that's it wet. That's a good part. Okay, let me get the water bottle. Okay, Tim's feeling pretty proud. He sprayed it off and definitely made sounds of this might be something good. Oh, snap. Yep. Look at the banding in that one. Yep. Oh. Oh, that one's so good. I had to spray that off. Oh, look at that. We have to cut that one. Absolutely, I'm going to cut that one. And uh, and obviously, I'm going to have to cut it like this. Yes. Yeah. That's the way the banding is going. But oh, wow, that's beautiful. Here's this one cut open. I've been waiting to cut this one. Looks really nice from there. It broke a little bit. Let's take a closer look. Ooh. That's nice. Look at that in there. That is very nice. Hi guys. 
So I have another one and it's right there. Look at this little guy. This is a little guy, but it's pretty. Tim seems to have found another decent one. Look at that. Oh yeah, that looks like it'll be decent. Oh, you oh and it has the banding. banding in it. He's got another piece that has that banding in it. Hold on, look let me that. spray it down. Spray it off. Oh man, look at that. More awesome banding. Okay, found one right here. Hopefully it's got some banding in it. Ooh, that's uh, that's pretty stuck in there. Might have to get my hand pick out. That'd be really big actually, that would be awesome. Oh yeah, that's a decent size. Can't tell if it has banding, I'll have to spray it off. Oh, there's another one on the wall right here. That doesn't have banding, but it's still a decent piece. But yeah, let me get that sprayed off, see if there's any cool banding in it. Yeah, look at that design. Huh. Is there any band? There might be some banding going on there. Don't have any right there. But maybe, maybe further in. Here's this one cut open. Huh. It's got calcite in there. Very interesting. All right, guys. All right, guys. Here's another one. Right there. Tim just found this. It's that jasper with the agate laced through it. It makes it kind of like a mossy agate. It's really nice. Just found that one. It's got a nice shape to it. Probably will look really nice washed off. All right, guys. I just I'll save my water one, though for the and bigger and better ones. Color. So yeah, you got a little bit of kind of, uh, it looks like it's some fractures in there that have some iron getting in there, giving it some color. Yeah. It'll probably look better once we wash it off fully, but I'll save the water we have for yeah, better for ones. Yeah, for the good ones. Here's a big one right here, but it's very plain. Yep, no banding in that one. Here's this one Tim just found. Looks like there might be a little bit of banding on that side. Can't quite tell though. I'll have to get it wet. You want to quickly spray it just a little bit? Okay, no, it's just an illusion. There's not really any banding in it. Oh, nice. This is more of an, a typical agate nodule. Yeah, it's hard to see anything without it being open, so we'll probably have to cut into that one. Just found that one. That's nice. It's got a little bit of banding right through there. That's some cute banding. Up on the side of the hill, I just found this really nice jasper. It's got a teeny bit of agate in it. It's got some good color to it, even a red. That's pretty nice. Tim just found this big piece of jasper. So there's definitely big pieces out here. That's exciting. Hopefully we can get some good colors and some agate in some bigger pieces. So we've been walking up a ways, been trying to get up to a place I've been to in the past. Tim seems to have found a decent one hiding right there. So we're gonna uncover that and see how it looks. See if it's got any good banding in it. I'm gonna have to use your spraying device. Right. It's got banding right there and then a different color right there. A little bit, yeah, the color's from the uh, volcanic rockets. So this out. has a little bit of banding. Nice. Now, let's check that bigger one. Okay, we got some banding in there. You got some quartz crystal growing in the middle of that one. It's got fractures in it. Yeah. It's a decent piece though. Just found that one. That one looks nice. It's got some good banding on it. Even a hint of bluish on the side because it's still in the rock and then you got some quartz crystals growing in the middle of it. This one's got a fun little black inclusion in it. That'll be cool. Just found that one sitting there. That's nice. That'll probably look pretty cool when I cut it open. Here's this one cut open. Nice. Okay. Just picked up that one. It's not too bad. Decent. Got a little crystal pocket right in the middle of it. Some good banding you on got it. Something good. Even a hint of bluish on the I side. Something good too. It's right here. Still in the rock, and you got some quartz crystals growing in the middle of it. No, that's not nice. that good. All right, guys. So I found two of them. There's one right there, and there's one right there. I'll pull this one out first. It's a little dirty right now, but we'll clean it off later for you. All right, guys, and then there she be, right there. Now I'm definitely gonna have to have Trent uh, wash this one off and look at it in the micro or the 
microscope that he has. Microscope, eh? Or the micro lens. Okay, Tim was down closer to the stream and found... Jeez, Tim. How do you keep finding the good banded ones? Dang, that's nice. Look at that. Well, this is the second best banded one today. Here's this one all washed off. Definitely the best right there. Just up from Tim, I found a piece of the banded. Yes, it's small. Let's see if I can get it in the sun for you. It's small, but it's got that beautiful banding in it. Might have even come from the piece he had. Very possible. Here's this one washed off. Found another piece of the banded stuff. Let's find the sun. There you go. Nice. Tim just found this one. It's got the good banding in it. Yeah. Hopefully you can see that. And this one's really nice. But there it is, the banding. Here's this one washed off. Here's this one cut open. Okay. Not a whole lot going on there, but on this side it's pretty cool. Found a nice big piece. Can't tell if it's got the banding in it, so we'll have to take that one back and cut it open. That looks like a good one right here. Let's pull that out. Uh, okay, it's got a little bit of the banding in it. Oh, wait. <laughs> that's really good on that side. Ah, oh, snap, that's good. Here's this one washed off and cut open. There it is. Very nice. Just found this one. It's got a bunch of green lichen growing on it. It's hard to tell, but I think we got some banding in the center of that one. So I'll take that home and scrub that off and see if we've got some. And just above where we're finding all the really good banded stuff, well, some anyway, higher concentration than anywhere else is just below this little road. So this is actually the road we've parked on way back where it split off from the main one. So if you just come up here further, it's just here off to the side. That's really cool. All right, guys, I found something really weird. Look at this. I'm going to have Trent put the micro lens on to see it. So. so Tim is telling me he's found something really amazing. I don't know because he hasn't shown it to me yet. It's on the other side. Okay, we've got the agate here. And, oh, look at that structure. What is it? So, so, <laughs> it's like a little sphere in it. I think I might have an idea. This is volcanic. This is filling up gaps in the volcanic. What if that's an air bubble? It could be it's filling a nice spherical air bubble in it. I don't know. Uh, other than because that, it seems like it's something else. Might be some calcite, actually. Yeah, that might be calcite in there. I'm not actually sure, but my guess is it's an air bubble. See, that's where I'm not sure either. Okay, we'll do further research, and maybe one of you has a better idea of what this might be. We're in volcanic rock. We got this going on. Just found this nice little one. Really cool. Another pretty decent looking one. A little pocket there. Just found this cool one. I'm gonna take a swig it's really that. nice. This might be nice to cut open. Hopefully it has some good banding in it. So here's a little one that has the good banding in it. Nice. Just right there. Pulled this one out. This one looks really good. I'm gonna take and spray this one off. Oh yeah, look at that. It's got the good banding right in there. So this one I could probably cut this way a couple, you know, just threw it a couple times and get a few slabs out of that. Here's this one cut open. Ooh, that one's interesting. There's a lot going on in that one. Very cool. There it goes. There's that one. There she be. 
All right, Tim found another one. You can see just some of the banding picking out, but it's definitely going through. So when we cut into it, that's going to be stunning. Lots of good banding. And he found that off toward the right here. Yeah, they seem to be kind of following a vein, just kind of going left and right so. here. So we'll just kind of walk it. Here's this one washed off and cut open. Okay. That's still pretty nice. Yeah. There's some interesting things going on in there. Just found that one. That one looks nice. Looks like it might have a little bit of that white banding further in there. Cool. Here's this one cut open. Okay. Not a lot going on in that one. Still pretty. Oh, I see a good sized one there. Let's see if this has any of the banding in it. Um, maybe further in, but not from the outside. I first picked that up just thinking it was going to be a rock or calcite, but no, it's definitely the agate. Uh, don't see banding in it. But maybe, maybe there are still further in. So we were over on that side finding all those really good agates. As soon as we came over here, we started finding the jaspers. So we've seen quite a few kind of reddish, brownish jaspers. And this jasper. one's pretty nice. And you just found a white one? Yep. Oh, here, you can show your agate that you found. Yeah, I pointed out a, an agate piece. Oh, that's good. That's not bad at all. Here's the white. Okay, so we could get some really cool combinations over here. Look at that, just pulled out a big one. Probably doesn't have the banding in it like over there, but it's a nice big piece. We'll, we'll clean it off better when I get home. It's really dirty. This is gonna take some scrubbing. That's a decent one. Not too bad. Yeah, there's some of the, the botryoidal stuff. That's cool. Just want some more of the Jasper. A lot of these pieces look worked. So there's probably Native Americans Chipping out this jasper here, making arrowheads. So here's this one. Kind of has a hint of blue in it. Ooh, just found one with the good banding on this side. Look at that. It's beautiful. That's a good piece. So the banding continues over here. Here's this one washed off. That one looks pretty good. I'm not seeing the banding, but it's still a pretty nice piece. Look at this jasper. So more of that jasper. We are finding quite a bit of jasper with some Look interesting color. colors in it. Jim just found that one. That's nice. It's got some color in there and some banding. And I found a little one that has the banding in it again. So yeah, let's keep our My eyes open cooler. for the banding. Here's this one washed off. Just found this one. It's got some quartz crystals growing through it. Nice. Tim got another one with a nice banding inside of it. Really nice. It doesn't have a... Okay, this isn't really a banding, but it has the white on that one side, which is interesting. Got to come in close. Okay, there's a big one right there. Pick that up, Tim. What we got in there? So fractured. I it can't... is really fractured. Can't I can't see, see banding. any bandings in it. But there might big be enough that there might be, some... there might be something deeper in. Attempt to cut it. Yeah, it might shatter though. I'll try to cut that one. This one had a nice shape to it on the outside. All right, guys, I found one right here. Find something nice over there? I'm not sure. It's a big one. Oh, good. That's a good one. Tim's found a couple over here. Let's see what we I'm got. I'm going to have to wash them off. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do the small one first. Oh, yeah, that looks like it's got banding in it. Oh, oh yes. Oh, yeah. oh, that's clear too on the outside. Oh, that is nice. Look at that thing. Beautiful. It's very clear, too. And the banding is just really nice in it. Oh my it's a beautiful gosh. piece. Oh, he's got a banding one, and it's big, is it? All right, Tim, I need to see it. <laughs> what have you got in there? Look at that color. Oh, oh, so you've got some, looks like some uh, iron oxides in there in a Banding layer. Ooh, and look at the crystals forming in the middle. Those are actually calcite. Yeah. That could be a neat piece. That. that that red in there. Oh. And it goes through, it goes way into there. Here's this interesting one cut open. It's 
inside broke. Oh, but it's, it is kind of cool inside. Yeah, it's got a lot of dirt in it and a little bit of iron going on. All right, guys. Trent's over there. I got this piece right there. This one I want to take a gander at. Oh, I swore to Jasper. Oh, yeah. That's going to be beautiful. All right, Tim found something to spray off. Should be pretty nice. Oh, gosh, more of the awesome banded stuff. There we go. That's a beautiful piece. Oh, I wish it didn't have that fracture right there. Right Definitely now. will not cut this, but could down the road grind it down, maybe polish it up. Just found that one. Oh, it's got good banding in that one. Yeah, that's a good one. Nice, nice, nice. Here's this one washed off. Okay, I spotted it from way up here. Nice piece that looks like it's got banding down here. Oh yes. Look at that. That's got banding in it. That is gonna be beautiful when I cut into it. Oh yeah, looking forward to cutting that one. Here's this one washed off. Very nice. Tim just found the largest piece of Jasper today. That's pretty cool. Some darker colors weaving thread. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't see the agate in it. That would be really cool. No, well, but we'll it, take cut that. It open. Yeah, cut into that. Just found that one. Looks like it's got some banding in it. Can't tell the rest. The rest is going to need some scrubbing though. So I'll take that home, wash it off. If there's some uh, better banding further in, I will show you. Here's this one cut open. Nice. Like those little white splotches in there. <laughs> Very cool. Just found this one. It's small, but it's pretty. Look at that banding. Just found that one. Looks kind of co cool with the calcite right in the middle of it. It's kind of fun. And over here, I saw this one. Any banding in it? Oh yeah, a little bit. Right there. Not a lot. Here's this one washed off. Just found that one with a nice banding. Cool. Here's this one washed off. So I found just a few right here that have the banding. You can see the banding going through that one. You can see it in that. And they were all just kind of piled here, so I'm gonna Search through this area and find as much banded stuff as I can. Here's this one washed off. Here's this one washed off. Just picked up that one. It's thin, but it's got nice banding in it. That's a good one. Here's this one washed off. And not far from it, look at that one. That's neat with the orange, the rusting parts of it. Got another one. That looks nice. Here's this one washed off. That one looks nice too. Doing good. Here's this one washed off. All right, Tim just picked this one up. Look at that. Let me change the angle. That is beautiful. Now that's a good piece. We need more of those, please. Here's this one cut open. Been looking forward to this one. Oh, very nice. Look at that. That is beautiful. Just found that one. Some nice banding in that. Here's this one washed off. Just found this one. No banding, but it looks really nice. And I think when I cut into it, it should look really good. Here's this one cut open. Looks nice from that side. Okay. Oh, it's got some nice stuff going on deep in there on that side. I'll have to try and grind it down to expose that. Looks cool. 
Just found this. Look at the botryoidal on that and look at the banding. That's a beautiful piece. Yeah, I really like that piece. Here's this one all nice and washed off. Really cool. Just found this one. Look how shiny that is. Got some nice crystal faces all over that. Here's this one washed off and cut open. From the outside, it looks like it might be calcite. Oh no, it's just like, well, it's quartz, but it's large crystals of it grown together. Here's another piece of banded. Nice. Here's this one washed off. Here's this one washed off. This side was kind of cool. Here's this one washed off. That center is really interesting. Here's this one washed off. 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 Here's this one cut open. Oh, looks like it might have a little calcite there. Cool. Here's this one cut open. It's got some lines in it. Nice. And we're back into the vehicle. It's getting pretty warm. It's about a little after one. It's still summer, so <laughs> time to head out. We did really good. I basically accomplished my mission. I was trying to find where the nice banded agates were coming out. Found it, followed the lair for quite a ways. Found some awesome stuff. Great location. I hope you guys enjoyed. That was a fantastic hike. Don't know when I'll get back out in Utah next. We'll see. So, Until next time, you remember... Know, you want to know how hot it is out here? Thanks, Tim. <laughs> Until next time, remember, there is treasure everywhere.